it has come to my attention that um, there's a rumor and hype build up that Apple might release their own version of smart glasses or AR glasses. And I actually find this quite laughable claim, actually. We all know that these uh, journalists are doing this for views so that they could generate more incomes and so on. So good luck to, with all these things and they could always justify that the reason it didn't happen is blah, blah, blah. But I personally believe that it's not gonna happen. And I know a lot of Apple fans out there will be very upset to hear this. And as someone who already owns at least two pair of smart glasses, please do hear me out my reason behind it. But before we get into this, let me ask you a question. What do you want Apple smart glasses to do? Do you want it to have speakers only so that it actually enhance your experience of listening to sound? Do you actually want it to actually have a camera, uh, just like how Facebook released their own version or Ray-Ban released their own version so that you could somehow record your live video streaming and so on? Do you actually want it to have a display of a mirror image version of your screen or smart glasses so that you can actually almost do a gesture control on this matter. So when it comes to the success of launching a smart glasses product, I believe there are three elements have to be fulfilled, which is that a reasonable price, how discreet it is, and number three is the performance of the battery. So when it comes to pricing and discreetness, Google Glasses was a classic case that one need to look into where it was phenomenally expensive for what I consider, and also it wasn't discreet enough. What the public wants is something that almost looks like a ordinary glass, but actually performs miracle. But Google Glass, even though it was a tiny uh, device technically, uh, it will still stand out in, in the middle of the public that most people will portray you as a geek. So when it comes to battery life, I would like to show you my uh, solo smart glasses that I actually wear very often. The reason I actually like to wear it is because it's uh, almost looks like ordinary glasses. It also has uh, sounds on it on the back so you can listen to music and you can interact with your uh, Google Assistant or Alexa. It also has the blue line protection lenses but it doesn't actually have some display function on it. And that's why it is actually thin as almost like an ordinary glasses that I actually like to wear every day. While as in the contrast, I own a Vuzik a blade that I made a review about. This actually comes with a memory card slot and also two speaker on the back uh, sensor as well and one lens of display and so on. But because of the function that it could produce, it actually comes bulky as you can see, but also almost as discreet as possible for a, what a smart glasses can get into. So, that's, so actually it looks like this when you wear it, but yet it stands out because of the bulkiness. So the question will be what sort of performance you're expecting from Apple to come up with. That's how discreet it will be as a smart glass that almost looks like a original uh, glasses or do, are they just bulkily going to go for AR glasses um, that just, just obviously stand out in the middle of the public, which I don't think many people, even a hardcore Apple fan, will be ha happy to wear. So the immediate surprise I got when I actually unzipped the Fusic Smart Glasses is that it actually comes with a portable battery and suddenly made a lot of sense is that if you want a Smart Glass to actually have a display function, sound function and touch sensor and all these miracles happening, you will need a lot of battery life with it. But unfortunately, the battery capacity and technology we have, we're quite limited to it. So that's why on and off, if you're out about and you wanna use the music smart glasses, for example, um, you have to plug in and then use it and so on. So uh, that's one of the biggest problem with the smart glass technology nowadays. So when it comes to those three elements, pricing, I still think music smart glasses could actually be cheaper, but it is quite expensive. So I don't think a lot of people are will be able to afford it. Number two, the discreetness. I think the level of the battery capacity, what it can contain and what can it produce, I think they have come up with the best so that it is almost discreet, but yet still very bulky. 
Number three is the battery life. Well, I, th I think they proved themselves that you will still need a lot of battery life. So I believe that Vuzix Smart Glass is one of the best smart glasses, the practical smart glasses that you can get. But when I actually see the Google image search of this concept design of how Apple fans actually come up with, I just think it's very laughable because if you look at their, the design, the frame is so thin, so you're just sort of wondering where's the speaker going to go? Where's the battery going to go? If there's going to come up with this ultra thin battery, how long it's going to last and what's the price going to be? Because we all know that Apple tends to overprice their products because they believe their ultra fans will still be able to afford it even though they come up with zillions and zillions of pricing on it. So overall, my thought is because this is whole rumor that Apple Smart Glass is going to be revealed today, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm pretty sure what you're seeing here is the best smart glasses that you can see and is that is available technology nowadays. So I'm sorry to um, bring you the bad news and we'll find out soon anyway. Um, but let's try to be a bit more patient. Hopefully someone will come up with a better battery life um, than maybe in about two or three years time, we might suddenly be able to see a new uh, smart glasses, finally a practical technology available, but at the moment I just can't see it happening. Most of the cases will be that if you want to fulfill all those functions on it, you have to be pretty much prepared to carry this with you all the time, which will most of the time be dangling with the wire and so on. So unfortunately, that's the latest technology of what we can get. Um, so I hope this video sort of clarified this whole rumor, false rumor about Apple's going to produce a smart glasses. I don't think so. In the long term, will Apple be the leading organization of producing this uh, smart glass technology? I definitely don't think so because if, if they would be, uh, they would have actually come up with the better foldable phone which Samsung already produced and is about to produce the fourth version this year. So that pretty much sums up where they stand on the innovating side. But I hope this video gave you a bit of, bit of an insight of a reality check. But if you actually have any queries or if you have any grunge against me, please do comment below. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.